Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for um, Gemini. Uh, this is going to be for July 2023. You can apply this to any replacements. So what karma are they facing? So we're going to take a look at someone that you're dealing with or was dealing with. We're going to see how this person did you dirty or how they did themselves dirty. And then we'll finish off the read to see, um, you know, uh, what karma this person is currently facing or will face moving forward. So apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Uh, it could be karma that you're cycling through. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Gemini people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell uh, so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Um, also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, all right? So Gemini, tell me about Gemini here. The person that Gemini is dealing with or was dealing with or even thinking of, how did this person do uh, Gemini dirty? How did this person do Gemini dirty for uh, July 2023 for Gemini? This person is really stubborn. Well, someone here is really stubborn. Nine of Pentacles here in the reverse. Whoever this person is, this person is really codependent and needy here. It just seems like I, 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 I also get the sense that this person was also a financial liability here. So I feel like this person took a lot from you. Yeah, there wasn't there wasn't any balance here. There was a lack of harmony between you guys. I do feel like, you know, I do feel like um, the breakup maybe stems from money issues or codependency issues okay three of swords here wow this was a really painful situation here gemini uh the lovers in the reverse gemini energy here you got the ace of wands the king of wands oh this person's bad okay ace of wands king of wands and the devil um i do feel like this person has a sex addiction here too okay i do feel like this is a type of person that needs a lot of attention sexual attention this person might have a, a lot of sexual fetishes and kinks or something like that it could be you know things you could provide for this individual sexually and so i feel like this person went elsewhere and looked for it elsewhere okay i do feel like this person has a sex addiction here i do i do feel like this is an individual that's really stuck in their ego kind of narcissistic here this is so interesting one of the things i'm getting is i I feel like this person's always checking themselves out in the mirror. I do feel like this person's like checking themselves out, make sure, making sure that their hair and makeup is proper, maybe making sure that someone's muscles are really big. Uh, I could actually see someone flexing in front of a mirror in like public and stuff, stuff like that. I do feel like this person's really into themselves, just really self-absorbed self here, okay? Tell me the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Here's the thing. This person exudes a lot of fake confidence here, okay? The problem is, I do feel like this person is very codependent and very needy, okay? So I'm getting the sense almost that one person was not enough for this person. Even if you showered this person with love, you know, admiration, you know, um, you know, just compliments, it was just not enough for this person. Not enough. Uh, the strength card, Leo energy, the lovers in the reverse here, and the chariot in the reverse. I almost get the sense that it's almost like this person was really abusive too. Yeah, emotion like uh, I hate to say, se I wouldn't say sexually a, a sexual abuse. I, I I just feel like it's more so like it was like a sexual kink, you know, things that you are not down for here. But I just get that it was like emotional. Maybe the physical abuse was like maybe this person made fun of your looks. Yeah. Yeah, this person made fun of your looks. They'll be like, hey, why can't you be more like Heidi Klum? Or why can't you be more like Chris Hemsworth, you know? So the little things like that. Uh, tell me about the Three of Swords here. We have a Ten of Cups in the reverse. Wow. Ace of Wands here and the Two of Wands. This was, um, this was, you know, I feel like you did, you might have had happy times with this individual, but I feel like the, the disasters here just really outweighed the fun here. Uh, in the good times. Um, 
I do really feel like this person really treated you horribly. I do feel like this relationship never really progressed, never really grew here. Yeah, it's just like, it was stunted. It was stunted. Yeah. Um, King of Wands, death. Devil, oh my. This person's like bad. I almost get the sense that this person has no shame in a really bad way though. You know, sometimes you have no shame in a really good way because you're really, you know, proud of yourself, you know, you're confident, you know, you just don't um, care about what other people think, you know, that sort of thing. But this, this shame thing, this shame thing that this person has, it's just completely distorted here. Yeah. It's like almost like no shame that this person's like doing these like crazy outlandish stuff. You know what I mean? So um, this person lies. Yeah, this person's a pathological liar. This person's um, a sex addict here. Okay. And I feel like with the death card here, there's an opportunity for this person to actually change. But I feel like this person's not taking it. Keep in mind that is their karma. If they don't change their behavior, that's the karma that they will live out. That's the suffering that they will create for themselves. That they're even that they're unaware of here, Gemini. So what else do we have here for Gemini? What else, uh, uh, what karma is this person currently facing or will face moving forward for July, 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. Uh, it could be in any of your placements, yeah? Ace of Pentacles, okay. Hangman. Well, one of the things is that if, if you're still dealing with this individual, I see you moving on towards a new beginning here, releasing this person and moving on here. That's, that is this person's karma. That, that, that is this person's karma because they, they lost out on something great here, you know? Ten of Wands and Ace of Cups here. Yeah, I see you walking away from this. Um, I see you releasing this here. I do see this person trying to get back or trying to be sweet to you. You know, they're going to be like, you know, Gemini, I learned my mistakes, but it's kind of like with the Seven of Swords there. They're like, just kidding. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, King of Pentacles here in the Justice card. One of the things I'm getting here is I do feel like this person has an opportunity here. Yeah, to do some self-work here. The thing is, I don't really see this person doing it. I, I, I just feel like this person's just so unaware. Just lack of awareness here the karma is piling on they have no idea they have no idea I, I, I just don't really believe that this person believes in that stuff or just understand how this works the knight of swords here and the ten of pentacles here this person lost out on something really great here yeah this person lost out on something really great here page of cups here and the king of cups Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. I do see this person trying to communicate with you here. Okay, I do see that, you know, they might try and heal this connection here, give you a sense of hope here. But, you know, one of the things I'm getting here, I just feel like you're just going to focus on you. Yeah, heal, move on from this, you know. Uh, yeah, they're going to come in with some sort of regret here. I don't feel like this person's going to fully regret here. They're going to come in a bit remorseful here, but I almost get the sense that this person has their fingers crossed behind their back here when they do that. So uh, Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.